right, so today I'm doing week three of my breath hold training. Um, so there's a comment on my last video where I talked about the mammalian dive reflex. Um, and it was asking me to do a session in the water and then out of the water. And so the theory here is you would expect that I would be able to hold my breath longer in the water because that's when the mammalian dive reflex gets activated. It gets activated by um, the, the, the water pours in your face, actually. Um, so when water contacts your face, that's what like kicks off the process. Um, and so doing the training above water would then you'd intuit that I wouldn't be able to hold my breath for as long a time. So we're gonna do week three above water um, and see how that, that compares to uh, week two, which um, I'll link the video to that right here. Um, all right, cool. <laughs> So we're doing two minute intervals here. So if I, I got 45 seconds, I'm gonna rest for a minute 15 and do my next one, do eight sets of that. Two seconds, so getting a little bit better. All right, set three coming up. Five, four. That's 108, it's getting better and better. The body's just getting used to dealing with lower or more CO2 buildup in my bloodstream. And so I can sort of stay calm and hold my breath for a little bit longer. Yeah, it is interesting. It's really just about staying calm because you get just get these like sort of pushes to let your hand go to breathe. And it's like, just remain calm, you're fine. It's the way you gotta tell yourself, always. <laughs> I was like a minute, man. Yeah, not as good as underwater. It's interesting. Don't feel as calm. And uh, it's just easier to take your hands off your nose than it is to put the weight down and then come up. There's like a greater amount of energy you need to expend in order to like quit essentially when you're underwater. I think that's what, that's what it could be, I don't know. Whew. All right. Yeah, those are the eight sets. My best time was like a minute five. Um, definitely didn't feel as relaxed as I did in my last video. Um, I think there definitely is something to being underwater um, and that triggering the million dive reflex and then sort of just calming me down a little bit. Um, I mean, the sample size of the study is N equals one, so not something that's too conclusive uh, in the medical field, but you know, something that I think is kind of cool, um, worth putting out there. Um, so yeah, there you go. CO2 training week three, uh, above ground. I'm going to be going in the pool for the rest of them because I like doing that uh, a lot better. And, um, the whole goal of this thing is to, uh, improve my safety in the water. So that's makes sense to be doing it in the water. So I'll be doing that from now on, but I like I liked, uh, doing this for, for an experiment. Cool.